Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM race. And 13 is back here. This is an alpha droid version. You can see here 1.5.1 full G apps version. This is and Wednesday, May 31st is the build date. This is one is the latest one, and 5th May 2023. And selling status is enforcing here. You can see the kernel user is 4.14. 314 lineage kernel has been used this is also in may 31st build this is how the typical home screen you get and these are the apps i am currently using here the geekbench 6 is the version here 5 is not available as you guys already know and this is typical home screen and this is the quick settings panel you also get that auto brightness toggle in the edit section you also get some of the options like sync dark and mic and camera access if you want you can drag them and hide here in the edit section all the toggles are working fine here even one handed mode is also added let me disable the airplane mode yeah this how the home screen let's see the dialer here you get this kind of dialer you will also get a direct video call feature available in this particular ROM also you can see here in the more options there is even a call recording feature is also available in this particular ROM Also, you also get a widgets here. You can see it's a typical Android 13 style. You get a watch, uh, even the battery widget will get this. All the things will be given in this Alpha Droid. And if you press and hold here, you also get a home settings. You get a different launcher other than a pixel launcher. You also get some of the options like if you want to use a taskbar, allow home screen uh, rotation, and also you can hide the apps from here background blur depth you can customization and even suggestion in the app list and in the home scan you can even check out the blocked apps from here and again simple things like icons and notification dots and home screen customization are available app drawer is also given and even recent apps you can customize here you front you can even enable the memory information from here you can see now you will get the memory information down here these are the typical settings you get i'll move into the gallery here i mean the benchmark results the first is the geekbench score you can see single score is 735 and multi score is 1541 again it's an 113 linux 4.14.314 lineage kernel has been used and this is a hundred threat test guys for 15 minutes you can see the maximum is around 191 and average is 153 and minimum is 114 and it's throttled to 68 percent of its max performance which is okay okay i can say in terms of results and even if we are charging rapidly gradually it will increase as you can see to higher uh, wattage speeds in terms of charging which is fine in my opinion and even the battery life is also a little bit better in this particular room especially i like the ideal battery drain. uh it's quite interesting in this particular room now moving to some of the other apps like as i already said gallery is pre-installed here you get just details here and other than that you get slideshow and print options nothing more here you can even go to albums and videos from here you can even use list and grid view for your uh, preferences now drm information again it you can see app opening time taking a little bit of time l1 certified this is it is very good you can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution on this poco xnfc after installing this alpha droid latest version and camera application i am using this pre-built anx camera you also get support to all other options like log mode you can see here it's not the uh, leica one it's a normal anx camera you can see there are no options here picture quality give it high and other things you can customize this is not a leica integrated next camera which people might like some of them might like with leica integrated and i mean i have given this option leica integration has been given in this gcam already shared this in uh, multiple platforms like telegram and whatsapp group if you haven't joined uh, dedicated groups are available for this poco x you can check out in my description and even channel community section and if you first time to this channel hit the subscribe button down below this and also all the bell notification by pressing the 
bell icon and if you like the video give it like and this is the camera application whatever i am using here uh agc camera you will be getting link to that all videos and other features are working fine here and if i want to disable some of the system apps go here and disable the android auto if you want you can use that uh, it's a very good uh, rom here geekbench already shown you the android benchmark results is also quite interesting you can see here app opening time 3,52,751 is the score and temperature raise was around 1.5 degrees celsius you can see on the screen 3 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of android benchmark on this poco x after flashing the uh alpha drive rom other uh, fm radio is also pre-built here music application is also given safety net status again it will get passed you can see integrity and status profile match is getting passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use them those going to work fine in my opinion just uh, when i flash the rom the padding will be not that clear here in order to make that go to settings again it's a typical settings with little bit of uh, nothing was touch you can see here little bit tweaking has been done in the settings one that's uh, how it differentiate between other roms if you press alphabet you will get a lot of customization here go to status bar and adjust the top padding and left and right padding you can see the values here whatever i kept make it down then the padding will be fine you also get multiple options like user interface you can customize them buttons you can customize them further lock screen is also given notifications you can customize them uh, navigation again you can customize them sound again there are plenty of options again miscellaneous settings also you can enable the high fps content games other things you can enable from here parallel space is also pre-installed in this particular rom weather settings you can customize some of the things in this alphabet and the alpha drive rom now this is the actual settings you get again dark theme options has been implemented uh, you can see there is even a pure black theme is also available hence the overall look will be in pitch black condition which i really liked it and other display settings like uh, if i go here you can see size and text again it will revert back to uh, accessibility settings colors are kept to boosted if you want you can change them peak and minimum refresh it kept to 120 tap to wake if you want you can enable tap to sleep wake on plug and accidental wake on plug ambient display per app refresh rate options are also given in this particular rom sound and vibration again haptic feedback strength you can adjust from here which will give you a very good response and direct sound enhancer you get both uh, enable direct and hi-fi audio system you can even choose the headphone type and preset from here which is quite interesting in my opinion security features again you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock app lock is also given rom is encrypted by default a flashing method is very good use the 14.0.1.1 zero global firmware only if you are first time watching this video i recommend to use the global firmware 14.0.1.0 if you are familiar with my flashing methods people know that which firmware they need to flash currently for popo x3 and moving into accessibility again other settings are working fine here and into system if i go into i guess just system navigation again gesture settings you can increase both the fill length and radius even back gesture height uh, animation haptic strength left right it sensitivity and navigation hint you can customize them if you want to go back to three button navigation you can do that one handed mode is also working fine as you can see these things are quite interesting here a little bit of customization is also there but uh, what we seen in the gallery i mean the uh, this result I haven't noticed uh, practically here what was that result I got in the app is not exactly true that I can say that's the conclusion of this video even BGM is also working fine I tested with that uh, the gameplay is fine you will never face any problem while playing the games also this is a very good uh, what I can say it's an above average uh, ROM I was expecting this to be a average experience but this is uh, meet my uh, expectations and reach over that average uh, thing 
I can say every department it is working fine. Even the battery, what I want to show you, if I go into the battery settings, yeah, there is a separate. Yeah, you can see battery usage. Uh, you can see here it was around Wednesday and now it is Tuesday. More than a week now. No, it's closer to week. You can see total five days, twenty three hours and three minutes. The uh, battery life is excellent here ideal battery drain is very very less i can say every two days are like that it is drain little bit but for that i am really happy the battery life and charging speeds are very good and camera things and internet speeds are also very good here haven't faced any problems if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom other than what i explained you can comment down in the comment section and if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now you can see the fingerprint unlock and even the face unlock as you can see yes that's how it is